Many apps require the user to enter some kind of input. For example, uh, providing some preferences to the application, deciding where a car should pick them up, ordering food from a menu, or anything similar. SwiftUI gives us a dedicated view type just for that, called a form. Forms are scrolling lists of static views like text and images. But they can also contain interactive things such as text fields, toggle switches, buttons, and more. We can make a basic form here just by wrapping our current text view and its modifier inside a form by doing form, open brace, putting that inside, and then doing closing brace. Now, if you're using Xcode's canvas like I am, you'll see it change immediately. Before, Hello World was centered on a white screen. Now the screen's got a light gray color and it's pushed up into the top left corner. You can, of course, remove the padding. It's not really required anymore. And now it's a regular iOS row height. What you're seeing here is the beginnings of a list of data, just like you see in a settings application on iOS. Here we have one row of data, our Hello World. We can add more freely and have them appear in our form immediately. I'll do Hello World and then uh, Hello World and Hello World. So we have three Hello Worlds. Badoom, in they come. In fact, you can have as many things as you want inside a form. Although, if you intend to add more than 10 items to your form, you want to place things in groups to avoid problems. So here's three, here's four, here's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. That's 10 Hello Worlds. That's just fine. But if I try to add an 11th, yeah, fail to build content view, eh, extra argument and call. Swift is not happy. It does not like having 11 things. And if you're curious why uh, 10 is allowed, whereas 11 is not, this is literally currently a limitation of Swift and Swift UI. It was coded to understand how to add one thing to a form, how to add two things to a form, three, four, five, all the way up to 10, but not beyond. They've got to draw a line somewhere, right? This limit of 10 children actually applies everywhere in SwiftUI, not just to forms. Now, if you wanted to have 11 Hello Worlds in our form, you can use a group. So I'll say there's a group starting here with one, two, three, four, five, six things inside. And then another group, group even, with one, two, three, four, five things inside. So now the form has two things inside, one group and two groups. And this group here has six, this has five. So nothing has more than 10 children in at any given time. Now SwiftUI's group doesn't actually change the way our layout looks and works. It's exactly the same. They just work around the limitation of 10 item children. That's text views inside a form in this instance. If you want the, the literally to look different on the screen, you should use section instead of group. This splits your form into discrete visual groups, just like the settings app does in iOS. So I could say, let's go back to having fewer things. Uh, 11 is quite a lot. Let's say there's a section here with one text and another one here with two more texts. And now you can see there's actually a, a gap between these two sections in our list. There is no hard and fast rule when to split things into a section like this. It's just there to group things that are related visually. 